a good amount of people. A few. Um, th <laughs> this is going to sound really grim, and I swear I'm not trying to sound grim. It's just a fact. Like, half of the people in my family that I knew as I was growing up are dead. It was a freaking series of unfortunate events. There was like seven or eight years where every year a completely unrelated thing happened to the last year and somebody else passed away. So at this point, you know, Thanksgiving is like half the aunts, uncles, and cousins and stuff I remember along with occasionally friends of theirs and stuff like that. So <laughs> again... I know it's always like pretty grim when I bring that up, but it's, it's true. Oh. Stop hitting Noxie! Jeez, we still haven't killed one of these. Is it still worth it? I mean, yeah, it's like, I'm just saying it, you know, whereas it used to be maybe 10 people, now it's like, or it used to be maybe 20 people, now it's like 10. chat at. Is he in the back? Okay, he's back there. And completely waste his whole turn. Okay. You notice how the other three aren't flying down? I think somehow, because of the positioning, this one's in the only spot they can stand. I don't know why that is a thing. And I don't know if that's good or not yet. Because I don't want them to constantly line up to punch clan to punch um, Noxy, but that seems to possibly be the case. Yeah, and it just went down to the exact same spot. God, dang it! <sighs> this really sucks. I wonder if I move her right there, if they won't be able to hit her anymore. Because, like, th this one is not coming down here. Alright, they will take an attack of opportunity here. Edge. Like, they know who's the dangerous one. Now, will any of the others move? This, this Flaming Sphere is doing l very minor damage, but it is doing guaranteed damage every turn. So, that's something, I guess. Let's try this just to see how much it does. Two. Okay. No sneak attack? I thought there'd be a sneak attack bonus there. Oh, I don't like that he just moved. That might have opened up a square for them to stand. I thought he could swing from there. Twenty. Twenty-three. Oh, wow. Great. Crit. Yeah. Spirit spider worth a lick. Not against elementals that are immune to poison, that's not. But honestly, when you got to pick your spirit animal at the start of the game, it, it gave you zero information on it. it. It gave you, like, no info. So right now I'm using it to body block. Yep. By, because Clam moved, this thing can now get to Noxie and start killing her again. I hope that's not close enough to burn Clam. I honestly don't know.
Would a bear make a hole different against one of these things? I don't know. If it does physical damage, it could at least swing, you know? Coming your way. At least we got some damage that turn. It would barely make a difference. <laughs> is this 1.0? No, this is a finished game. It's got a uh, its first DLC is out too. All right. I'm really hoping he misses this, but whatever happens, happens. Nice. Okay. okay, so assuming the enemy can't stand in the air over here and it needs a two by two square, I think they can't hit Noxie now. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Sacred Flame. I just realized the the flying thing in the air, like the second damage field I put down, it's gone. At some point when she was getting hit, she must have lost concentration on it. Honestly, it's a miracle she hasn't lost concentration of both of them with uh, all of the hits she's taken. But she does not have increased concentration. Only Mukluk does. But I never expected her to get a spell that I was going to use as such a you know massive crutch to get through this game, which was the you know the spirit thing. Um, if he moves to heal, not oh no, if he moves to heal Clam. The Nox will be exposed, so I can't move. So we're just going to do we'll do a touch heal on her from here. I remember. Okay, I have to be very careful not to move chat, because he is in a body block position. A lot of damage, but he did some. You know what I'm reminded of right now? Uh, any Heroes of Might and Magic fans? In Heroes of Might and Magic, you'd have a like a, a unit, like an archer, but it would represent like, you know, 500 archers on the field, and it would be really weak. And so you would position it in the back, and you would have like, you know, your archer, and then, like, okay, here. Like, if, if this was your archer, and then you had another unit here, that would prevent a two by two creature from being able to hit your archer because it couldn't get to it physically. Uh, and I, this, I feel right now with the logic I'm having to use, is You'll that. Like Radiant. <laughs> oh my god. What level was this quest? <gasps> oh, does it say? I don't know what the level is quest. This is so rough. Oh my god. All right, we're out of Cure Wounds. Temporarily increase hit points for up to three allies. <laughs> Dude, this, this icon. Oh! You know what this icon reminds me of? The, the Squidward, like, dancing? You, you know the one. You know the one. Don't act like you don't know the one. I've got one more mass healing word. Actually, Clam is two-thirds health. I can I can hold off on that right now. And how much health does this add? Five plus advancement. It's a level two spell. All right, that's fine. All right, so Clam, Shat, and Noxie. All right, there's some bonus health for however much that helps. He takes six radiant. Can you just upcast the healing spell to get more casts? 
I didn't think about that, maybe. I constantly forget about upcasting. I always remember up dog though. Alright, two of the four enemies are dead. <laughs> and that spell just goes off to the moon, okay. Stop that! <laughs> Chat rolls a critical miss, a, cri a critical fail one. And Mugluck goes, stop that. <laughs> stop being terrible. We're fighting for our lives here. <laughs> I like the animation. That the, the air elemental's like, oh wait, there's an open spot. It flies in, poof, ooh! And then it just freezes with him reeling backward like that. Opportunity attack, fail. Chat says, damn it. No! God, I'm freaking another crit! No! Uh, you know what? Let's use let's use Vampiric Touch. More. Five damage healed for two. Wee. Oh, oh, I haven't used second wind today. Use that. Nice. That's a once a day self heal. You have a clampire. Clam <laughs> clampire. <laughs> clampire. No, clam has a ring that allows him to cast vamp. When he activates it, he can cast vampiric touch for like ten turns. One, and he can only activate the ring once a day. Freaking <laughs> clampire. Eight radiant. Oh my god, they're all critting! That's three... <laughs> that is three critical clam slams. In a row. Stop it. Can Muck reach him for a heal? No, he can't. What does the crown do? Revivify. No. Yeet good berries. Just in the middle of the fight, Clam's just like, ow, ow, just catching them like a guy throwing popcorn into his mouth. Wait till the next one. <sighs> All right, switch to bow. Was it, we cannot change how we're standing. We just, we just stand exactly like this. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. What? Oh, wait, there it is. Vampiric touch. I was, I was like, where did it go? I won't miss next time. He just critically missed vampire. Clampire, indeed. This is the last healing spell I got, sort of. Oh wait, I could use preserve. Oh, sh I should have done this first. No. Let's see. This will not heal someone above half, but it can get them up to half. So I should have done that first, but I, I forgot about it. It's a once a day thing. Five fire. Again, the Flaming Sphere is not doing a lot, but when they successfully avoid Again, it, it'll up. do half damage, not zero. So it's always going to do a little, so it's helpful. Ten Radiant. Oh my god, Chad, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. No one said he was a good claim player. No, no one did. Muck, I started playing Raid today. I'm scared for my time. <laughs> I, 
I, did, I wasn't even pushing referrals today, Gandhi. What are you doing? Oh, he hit for seven. Nice. Flaming Sphere. Oh my god. That was rough. Not like tactfully difficult. That was insane. That's the first time in this game I think I had to abuse positioning to that degree. Because, and only because they, like, one, I had to save scum. I had to reload to earlier. I had to prep before the fight and use every single heal I had and also stand in a place once I figured out, like, where the game would not let the flying wind elemental stand. If this had been, like, pen and paper, the DM would have totally let them stand there and stand in such a way that they couldn't hit Nox anymore. But I also don't know why they were all focus firing Noxy so hard. That was interesting, to say the least. But golly. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. It's a hard encounter. Yeah, I mean, like, the hardest encounter I've done was the first time I fought a legendary boss, which is the vampire lady. That was by far the hardest one I'd done, but I also did not understand the mechanics at all. This one, I understood all the mechanics. It was just insane. It was just like, oh yeah, you're all split up and crouched down and looking for clues. Four greater wind elementals right in the kisser. Oh my god, it's 12.30. What the muck? <laughs> I didn't see the time. <laughs> Quick save. Wow. Yeah, that was the whole evening. Freaking air elementals. Okay. All right, we're saving there. Chat, y'all have been absolutely wonderful.